morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis and rosacea and acne and eczema, digestive ailments, autoimmune, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is a renewing system designed divinely to heal itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have questions about ingredients or formulations or products, something you may have heard about or read about, please call us, 844-236-6010 is our number. We love to hear from you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can go to brightsideben.com, order products right off the website, same with pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites or call the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can start a business, you can earn thank you checks, you can get your products at the wholesale price, you can change lives, you can help spread the word, you can help your friends and loved ones and family members heal themselves. That's a lot of benefits. And you can make money too. 866-735-2470 is a phone number. If you're interested, tell them you want to join the Brightside Ben team and you and I can do this together. We can help change the world together. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. And, of course, if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, head over to truthtreatments.com. We have a blog up there with skin health tips and skin health posts. I've been in the skincare business now for 32 years, and I've learned a lot about how you make skincare products and how you treat the skin. And I'm sharing that all with you at truthtreatments.com, and I'm sharing the products with you at truthtreatments.com as well. Okay, so we were talking about vitamin E. Love, love, love this stuff. I've been using it in the skincare world as, in, in formulations for since I started formulating products back in the 1980s. Always use vitamin E. And I've been dispensing vitamin E for skin health issues. Vitamin E is a really, really underappreciated healing vitamin. So many, so many things about vitamin E that are important. Yesterday we talked about its relationship to seizure disorders and epilepsy. We talked about an article uh, from the uh, journal uh, Alternative Medicine Review, this is March 2007, that showed that vitamin E had a calming and stabilizing effect, reducing se seizure frequency, uh, helping, reduce, helping patients reduce their drugs, their anticonvulsant drugs. Another article from the Annals of Internal Medicine, June 1940, that's right around the time vitamin E was really starting to be discovered, or, or the benefits of vitamin E were starting to be discovered. Rats and mice exposed to pure oxygen had seizures, but when they were given vitamin E, they didn't have seizures. From the journal Epilepsy, January, February, 1989 edition, a study of epileptic children with seizure disorders found that vitamin E, uh, adding vitamin E to their medication, was accompanied by a, quote, significant, unquote, reduction in seizures in 10 of 12 cases. These results all point to a calming stabilizing effect for vitamin E. It's a protector vitamin. It's our guardian vitamin. Seizures represent destability, chaos, energy out of control. And vitamin E is a calming vitamin, a stabilizing vitamin. It's the St. Anthony of vitamins. It restores and maintains peace and tranquility. At the cell level, whether it's heart cells, whether it's uh, nerve cells, whether it's skin cells, whether it's brain cells, all disease is cell disease and all Cell disease is the end result of chaos, of a chaotic, out-of-control cell activity, which ultimately, ultimately leads to a kind of damming up of things, a clogging. 
but it starts with out of control chaos that leads to clogging and the clogging causes a lack of nutrients, lack of oxygen, and accumulation of toxicity. The nature of vitamin E's roles as a calming and protecting vitamin reveal a major clue for us about disease and about taking care of disease and why the medical model doesn't work. Disease, biochemical breakdowns, chronic, illness, uh, chronic illnesses, even aging itself are all the result of this hyped up chaos act, chaotic activity. Out of control, excessive something, cell division, out of control secretion of fibers, out of control secretion of fluids, out of control electrical sparking. Now, all of this is what leads to the dysfunction and then ultimately we get this clogging and the stagnation. So it starts off with excess and chaos. Not only excess, but out of control, chaotic excess. Sicknesses, whether chronic long-term degenerative sicknesses, whether we're talking cancer, autoimmunity, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, seizure disorders, skin issues, acne, psoriasis, endometriosis in the, in the female reproductive system. These are all manifestations of out of control, excessive, wild, crazy activity leading to crazy secretion of fluids and growth of tissue and, and, and secretion of fibers and cells. And it's a successive something at the microscopic level that leads to the clogging and the sluggishness at the level where we become sick no matter what our sickness is. If we're feeling sick and tired and unable to move around and broken down, what's really happening is the excess. And this is so important because this is where these calming nutrients become so important. The excesses lead to deficits. The excesses of secretions and growth leads to deficits in nutrition and oxygen and, and healthy biochemistry. That's why vitamin E is so important. That's why magnesium is so important. That's why vitamin C is so important. That's why omega-3 fatty acids are so important. That's why uh, pregnenolone and progesterone, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. That's why all of these are so important. They calm things down. They stabilize things. They're stabilizers. And this is where the triangle of disease comes in. You have three points in the triangle of disease. The digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal thyroid complex. And they all play a role in this chaos, for better or worse. Fundamental primal roles. When the digestive system breaks down and toxins leak into the blood, that's called leaky gut. This is where it all begins. The immune system becomes activated and metabolism and cell activity becomes dynamic. You can actually assess leaky gut by doing something called a coca pulse test. When we eat a problematic food that activates our immune system or somehow permeates into the blood through leaky gut, our pulse will race. And this was first discovered by a guy named Coca, Arthur Coca. He was a physician back in the 1950s, and he developed the Coca pulse test. And you can do this yourself. You don't need a fancy schmancy uh, uh, food allergy test, which doesn't even work anyway, because that doesn't tell you about the immediate results that's happening to you. Allergy tests are done in test tubes and in Petri dishes. But you can be your own allergy test by doing a Coca pulse test. Just take, your base, take a baseline pulse, just lightly place your finger in your wrist, uh, eat a food and, and then take your pulse again. If it's a problem food, you're going to have a subtle stress response that can be detected through this pulse, this increase in pulse. You don't even have to eat the food. Sometimes just putting the food on your tongue can do it. Just leaving the food on your tongue can cause an increase in uh, pulse rate if you're really, really sensitized. So the first point of the triangle of disease, the, the breakdown in the digestive system, exerts its, its negative effects on health because it amps things up. Sugar, obviously, second point in the triangle of disease, obviously, that kicks up energy. All parents know that giving kids apple juice or Coke or smoothies can have their bouncing off the walls. Breakfast cereals, Pop-Tarts, orange juice, hyperactivity, attention deficits, schizophrenia, even the, the, crazy, the crazy rambling of schizophrenics, these are all manifestations of a hyped up energy that can be caused by elevated blood sugar. If you know a, a, a schizophrenic person who's having a psychotic break or who's not being controlled perhaps, get them off sugar, watch what happens, or put them on sugar and watch what happens. Put them on extra sugar, because schizophrenics are usually eating a lot of sugar. It's one of the things uh, about schizophrenia is these bizarre amounts of sugar and coke and, and uh, uh, sweet, sweet foods that they eat. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Don't go away. Okay, we 
we are back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. You can also check out our blog, criticalhealthnews.com. we got videos up, uh, a lot of videos up at criticalhealthnews.com, and then also uh, my blog, pharmacistben.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren and John T. Collier for setting those up. And, of course, if you're interested in checking out our skin health log, go to truthtreatments.com and take a especially long look at our Truth Skin Health products, Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. And let's see what else. Say 442-366-6010 is our number. We've got a couple lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. Okay, so uh, the three points of the triangle of disease work to cause the body to break down because they cause an amping up of things, an amping up of activity, cell activity. Cell activity has to be structured, has to be, has to be controlled. You can't just have random activity. Sugar amps up the body. Food allergens amp up the body. I should say cells. Uh, sugar amps up cells, creating this kind of chaos. Food allergens, food toxins can do it. An activated immune system can do it. This is why fasting is so important, by the way. This is why fasting is so beneficial, and the ketogenic diet. They slow things down. The reason drugs don't work is because drugs have the, the pharmacomedical model can only shut things down, not slow things down in the sense that they can control things. Remember, it's this balance of you've got to have activity, but it has to be structured activity. It has to be controlled activity. Drugs can't, do, can't restore order. What drugs can do is they can poison the system. That's why they don't work. And that's why we have side effects and toxicity. Because all they can do is shut things down. They can't stabilize things. That's what poisoning is about. That's what toxicity is all about. When I say drugs are poison, I mean they can't control or stabilize or structure. They can just shut things down. Drugs are always going to be poisons. Always. They are always going to be toxins. Only nutrition can stabilize. Only nutrition can control. That's why nutrition is the perfect medicine. This is what it means to have food be thy medicine. Food and nutrition have a stabilizing effect, not a suppressant effect. There's no anti-foods. There's anti-medicines, but there's no anti-foods. Foods stabilize. Nutrition stabilizes. It's a big difference. Cells are always in activity. This is one of the neatest things about cells that nobody talks about. Cells are always moving. They're always in, act, uh, in activity. They're always doing something until they die. They're always, always doing something. And the things they're doing are so mind-blowing that if we contemplated on it, if somebody would teach us this for even 30 seconds in elementary school, we couldn't live our lives the way we live our lives today. If we understood that these cells are producing millions millions of things per second millions how does this even happen in a space that's a one one hundredth the size of a head of a pen millions of chemicals are being secreted and manufactured and destroyed and processed and channeled and directed and it, it, with an order that is absolutely staggering mind-blowing jaw-dropping and this is happening in us at every moment every second Do you know every second you're your your body is producing trillions with a T, trillions of red blood cells. Trillions are constantly being made, constantly being turned over. This the the amount of dynamism that's going in the body that starts off at the cell level is beyond belief. Literally, it cannot be understood or believed. It just has to be appreciated. But the problem is, is that when we lack these stabilizing nutrients, or when we put toxins into the body. All that energy becomes chaotic. It's not stabilized. You can just imagine if we have all this energy, it has to be stable. It has to be structured somehow. What makes us sick is when that energy becomes chaotic. What makes us healthy is the ability to control and stabilize that activity, to channel all that energy into productivity. Sick cells don't need more energy, and they don't need less energy. They need stable energy, channeled energy controlled energy and when we get sicker or when our cells get sicker same thing whether from a lack of oxygen or a lack of nutrition or accumulation of toxicity those are the three reasons why cells get sick lack of oxygen lack of to uh, lack of nutrition and accumulation of toxicity what ultimately happens is cells lose their ability to control things 
they lose the stable their ability to stabilize all that energy. Disease is a hyper state, a chaotic state. Health is not about more activity, it's about stabilizing that activity and this is why medicine doesn't work. And not understanding this is why we go to the doctor that we take drugs or our doctor gives us drugs. The pharmacomedical model is either about amping up the activity of cells, as in Parkinson's drugs or Alzheimer's drugs or antidepressants or immune-boosting drugs, or alternatively, it's about shutting things down. Anti-inflammatories, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers. Stabilizing is a much more sophisticated process. Drugs can't stabilize. God stabilizes. The divine force stabilizes. Drugs can amp things up or shut things down by poisoning them, but it can't control it, it can't stabilize it. This is a very highly sophisticated process. Not too much, not too, not too much, not too little. That's called normalization. That's the technical term for it. Not too much, not too little. If it's too much, it pulls it down. If it's too little, it pulls it up. Somehow, nutrients understand how to do this. They normalize things. Drugs and surgeries and radiation cannot do this. Nutrients can do it. Oxygen can do it. Carbon dioxide can do it. Doctors cannot. This is so powerful because who controls this? We do. We control from the comfort of our own couch at home by using our supplements, by eating correctly, by exercising, by breathing correctly, by relaxing. Medicine can't work. It can't normalize. But we don't need it. That's the good news. We don't need it for any health challenge, any. Any long-term chronic, progressive, degenerative health challenge, and if it's, even if it's a, some kind of weird genetic anomaly, you could still improve con the, the condition. You may not be able to reverse it entirely, but you can improve the condition dramatically by understanding that it's normalization and stabilization, and that's the job of nutrition and oxygen and detoxification. This normalization process, it requires energy. Yes, there has to be energy, but it has to be Goldilocks energy. Not too hot, not too small, not too big, not too small, not too much, not too little. They call that the Goldilocks principle. The cell is always dynamic, it's always moving, but it needs to have that dynamism structured, controlled. There have to be braking molecules, like a brakes on a car. You know, if your car, if you lose the brakes on a car, disaster awaits. If a, if a cell loses brakes on its metabolism, cancer awaits. That's what cancer is. The brakes have been gone. The brakes are lost. And that's why vitamin E is so important. That's why the ketogenic diet is so important. That's why fasting is so important. All of these function to stabilize things. Vitamin E stabilizes electrical energy. The ketogenic diet gives the body more power and more torque, so it doesn't have to use as much energy, more bang for your buck with the ketogenic diet. And by the way, the vitam vitamin E and the ketogenic diet work hand in hand. They work together. Because vitamin E protects fats, and because the ketogenic diet involves ingestion of more fats, when you're trying to take advantage of the ketogenic diet, you're going to be burning through vitamin E. And you're going to be deficient in vitamin E. Most of us are going to be deficient in vitamin E anyway because it's hard to find uh, vitamin E in a lot of foods. There's not a lot of foods that contain m large amounts of vitamin E and food processing takes it out. So the more ketogenic diet, the more you're gonna, the more you wanna leverage the ketogenic diet or the more fat you're eating or the mo more grains you're eating or the more oil you're eating, the more EFAs you're taking, the more vitamin E you need. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return after this. Don't go away. back on the bright side. Got lines open at 844-236-6010. Hang on. We'll get to your calls here in just a sec. Uh, if you're interested in checking out the longevity products, head over to Truth Treat, uh, head over to PharmacistBen.com or BrightSideBen.com. And if you're interested in checking out the Truth Skin Health products, go to TruthTreatments.com and make sure you take a specially long, long look at our Retinol 5% Gel made with retinol and vitamin C. Retinol is the skin's quintessential stabilizing molecule, by the way. But that's exactly what vitamin A's role is in the skin, is to normalize reactions. And vitamin A, in its retinol form, along with vitamin C, are the two most important over-the-counter ingredients you could ever put on your skin. If you're in interested in anti-aging the skin, if you're interested in keeping the skin healthy, if you're not using vitamin A in its retinol form in high enough concentrations to make a difference and stabilize vitamin C, you are completely missing the boat on skin health. I don't care how much you like your skin health product. You may love it. You may love the way it feels. But if it's not rich in vitamin C, stabilized vitamin C, not the cheap stuff, but stabilized vitamin C, 
and retinol and high enough, uh, a high enough dosage to make a difference, you're missing an awesome opportunity to really take care of your skin, and that's what the truth is all about. That's the truth. Check out truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, retinol 5% gel, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream, and truth serum. Okay, let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. A couple more things I want to say. Uh, maybe we'll, Just one last thing here about vitamin E. So vitamin E is a stabilizing vitamin. It's not found in foods. It controls energy. This is why the more fats you, need, you eat, the more vitamin E you need. Fats are pure energy or dense energy. And without enough vitamin E, that dense energy can cause chaos, can wreak havoc, chaos in the body. Now, the body has mechanisms for stabilizing things, but those mechanisms can become overwhelmed. That's why the more fat you're eating, if you're going ketogenic, the more vitamin E you need. 400 IU a day is a good place to be, but at least 200 IU a day. There's all kinds of different ways to get vitamin E, but one way you're not going to get enough vitamin E anyway is from food. It's not there. A little bit is. Grains are going to get you vitamin E, especially mostly the bran and the germ, which nobody eats. Fish will get you a little bit of vitamin E. Cabbage has a little vitamin E in it. All right, we'll continue this tomorrow. We'll talk about vitamin E, and then we'll also talk about a really, really neat hormone-like, or hormone, actually, substance that you can buy in the health food store that, like vitamin E, has a calming effect on the body, stabilizing effect on the body. Super duper important. We've talked about it before, and we'll hit it. We'll discuss it at length tomorrow. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Mike in Toronto, Canada. Talk to me, buddy. Good to, good to hear your hey, voice. I'm glad ben, you called. Hey, top, top of the morning to you over there. <laughs> yes. We're doing a talk <laughs> we in Toronto. Really, We're doing a, You yeah, and I are doing a talk. Are, Tell folks. We are really excited that you're going to be here in Toronto over the weekend, and... For anybody in the Toronto area, uh, Ben will be speaking Monday, uh, April 11th, at the Willowdale Presbyterian Church, which is in North York, just off of Young Street, which is short for Longevity Street. They just didn't call it that because it would be. I too... love it. That's awesome. Longevity Street. Yeah. Can, can we? It's, can you uh, give out your phone number? Do you mind, Mike, giving out your phone number so people can call you, or maybe a website sure, or something? Sure, not a problem. Okay. Six four seven. 678-7575, Willowdale Presbyterian Church, Monday, oh, doors open at 6.30, we're starting around 7, the guests are free, the only thing you need to pay is attention, and oh, boy, you'll love you. it when Ben talks in live. Thank you, appreciate it, Mike, thanks, man, have a good day. You're welcome, and one right. last thing, it's 38 Ellerslie Avenue, it's just... In off the subway line uh, near the North York Civic Center, Mel Lastman, really, really close. And okay. we look forward to seeing you there, Ben. Thank you very much. Th take care, Have Mike. A Have a journey, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. All right. And I'll also be at the uh, Total Health Show uh, in Toronto a couple days before if you're out in that area. Love to see you. I'll be doing a talk on Alzheimer's disease, a talk on skin health, actually, a three hour lecture on skin health. And then uh, an hour, uh, an hour talk on the digestive system and the relationship of digestive, uh, digestive health and digestive issues to all disease, all chronic degenerative disease. But of course, you guys know about all that because you've been listening to the bright side. Okay, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Robert, what's going on? Robert in Colorado. How are you today? How you doing, my man? Well, but I still have a couple issues. And, Sounds uh, stuffed I up. Just are you stuffed to up? Say thank you. You've, you've helped me before with an acute skin issue that I had once. Uh, it was a bacitracin yeah. allergy. So. Oh, nice. I'm glad I could help. And so, what's going on today? So, and I'll, also, I'm a Robert in Denver, uh, a skinny one, but not the. Ah, uh, you're Robert, not the skinny so. Robert. <laughs> but you and I have met. No, but, uh, have Have we met in person? I'd like to. Okay, all Maybe, right. Yeah, uh, I could invite you out to Avery or something. Well, I do Super Boulder. Saturdays with Tom Chenault every once in a while, so the next time I'm out there, okay. you have to come to Longmont. Sounds good. Okay, so, so what's going uh, on? I have, a few, I have a few issues, of course, and I think I'm about to get the 30 blood lecture, but I am okay. currently working with a naturopath in Denver. Um, who, who, can you mention the name? Uh, sure, Dr. Asplund. She's a brand new naturopath okay. at the uh, Denver, uh, I think it's just Denver Naturopath Clinic. Okay, go ahead then. How can tell, Give me some details here. Tell me how I can help you. Um, so 
chronic pan-sinusitis, um, deviated septum, rhinitis. I have ongoing post-nasal drip. Pretty You're much clogged up. Life. I could tell by talk. I could tell when you talked. You're clogged up. Yeah. So here's the deal. Clogging is always the result. It was what we were talking about here earlier. Clogging is a hyperactivity. Secretions are being are being uh, uh, emitted from cells dramatically. That's what clogging, sinus clogging, I should say, is all about. Okay. And this is a manifestation of a de defensive response. One of the ways the body protects itself is by sliming things away. Do you ever see Ghostbusters? You sound like a young guy, but there was a movie. Yeah. Like, remember Ghostbusters? Remember how they used the slime? The green yeah. slime or the pink slime, whatever color slime it was. Uh, that's how the body protects itself. It slimes away the enemy. So whenever you've got mucus or, or fluids in the head, which is a large concentration of immunity in the head, uh, and in the sinuses, you're looking at a defensive response. Now, this can be triggered by breathing something. Sometimes that'll happen. But for the most part, you're looking at something getting into the blood, dirty blood, like you said, something getting into the blood. It's a blood it's a res response to the blood. And, of course, unless you're injecting things in through your skin, obviously that means food. So if I were you, this is what I would be doing, all right? Because it's got to be miserable. I can only imagine. Uh, this is what you got to do. You got to hit the reset button, clear the decks, do a swear V cleanse or fast for two or three days if you can. Swear V cleanse is when you get the uh, you know, swear V from longevity. Do half a bottle every hour, okay. six bottles in a 12-hour day. Do it for two or three days. Clear the decks. You'll notice right away that your sinuses will start to improve. To the degree they'll improve is related to how bad off you are now. So I can't tell you how much they'll improve, but you'll notice some improvement. Then what's going to happen is you're going to eat again as normal, but just don't eat a bunch of different types of food. Just eat one or two types of food or one type of food, ideally, and watch what happens to your sinuses. Start with your favorite foods. There's a very interesting phenomenon that happens where... We, uh, we eat our favorite foods or we become addicted to our favorite foods because it somehow s softens the blow of these immune responses. The body kind of uses these favorite foods and says, oh, it's familiar, and the immune response gets dampened a little bit. But when you lay off of them for two days, you're going to notice it again real quickly. Hang on, Robert. I'll, I'll finish when we come back, okay? Don't go away. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, we'll get to you as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. I can see where my calls went here. Uh, we're talking to Robert in uh, Denver. You there, Robert? Yes. Okay, so here's the deal. And, and you should take this back to the naturopath, and she'll understand. She should understand everything that I'm saying here. I'm sure you will as well. Yeah, if you, and I let her know that I listen to you and kind of want okay. to get both of your opinions. Just to okay, well, here's the deal. Just tell her what I'm saying. If you tell her what I tell you here, she'll understand. She was, there's no way she could disagree with this, okay? Your, okay. Uh, secretions and flu, uh, fluid secretions in the head are always a, the manifestation of a defensive response. It's the body's sliming response, the body attempting to slime things away. It's an evolutionarily developed uh, system that helps protect the body from attack. Attack can only come from two directions, okay? It's going to come in through your skin, rarely. I should say three directions. Through your skin, rarely. You have to inject stuff in, vaccines and IV drugs, etc. I avoid that. Okay, good. Through the nose, obviously this can trigger it, and you're going to have to filter that out, and you're going to have to assess whether that's a problem. I suspect not, because you would have noticed that. It would be seasonal, or it would be occur where, where in specific areas in your house or, or where you are. You're or right. third. Thank you. Or third. Or third, the only other place it could be. And that this is it. This is just logic. This isn't my opinion or an assessment. It's just logic. It has to come in through the digestive system. It's the only place it can right. come in. That means food. So when you eliminate, when you, when you stop eating for two or three days, what you're going to notice is that foods that you, you usually could eat and not notice a problem or not, not be aware of a problem, it's probably there, are your favorite foods. Okay, so start off with your favorite foods and try to pick just one food, eat it all day. And I'm suspecting you're going to notice something. If you don't notice something, that's a food that's acceptable. If you do notice something, you scratch that off your accept acceptable list and you move on to the next food and you keep doing this. Okay, now. And actually, she has had me do um, a food journal. And what are you noticing? Also, I really couldn't find the pattern. Because and the yeah, you're not doing it correctly. You have to do it the way I told okay. you. Okay. Stop eating, okay. hit the reset button. You get what I mean when I say hit the reset button? Yeah. Clear the decks. Yeah, and I have fasted um, a couple of times. I, I haven't gone any longer than two days. but um, Even two days, one, but if you do three, that's good. I like three days. Okay. 
Okay, and, and then hit the reset. also and, had me do a dairy elimination. Well, you can that's assume good. dairy is a problem first, or you can eat a bunch okay. of dairy and see, but usually that's going to be an issue. The, and We're grains, too. And gl- all of that. But there's subtle ones, too, that may be just idiosyncratic, maybe yours personally. Tomatoes. You know, something that you think is gentle and benign and no problem may be a problem for you. Some kind of food additive that you're eating a lot of food, eating a lot of crap macaroni and cheese or whatever it is you're doing. I don't know. I'm just making that up. So you understand the point. The next thing is you want to start to stabilize the gut, particularly at the intestinal level with probiotics. Probiotics play a major and underappreciated role when it comes to immunity. Major and underappreciated. It can make a huge difference. You might have to experiment with the dose. You might have to experiment with the brand. I like the Biolumin Nightly Essence, or now the Ultimate Nightly Essence, they're calling it. I like that one, but you may have to experiment. You may have to experiment with the amount you're taking. Eating fermented food can also help you, and then doing anything you do to correct digestive issues if they're there. That means apple cider vinegar with your meals, uh, Ultimate Enzymes with your meals, perhaps uh, bile salts or lecithin with your meals. Just work on the gut is what I'm saying here. All right? You have a right. gut problem. It's showing up in your head, but you got to assume it's a gut problem until, until you discover different. you got to assume it's a gut problem. Like I say, it could be something you're breathing, but I find that unlikely. All right, Robert. I hope I helped you, man. Thank you so much. All right, buddy. Have, and t- I'd like to hear what the naturopath says if you get a chance to call us back after you share this with Absolutely. the naturopath. Okay, buddy. Take care. Okay, Dylan in Texas. What's up, man? Welcome to the Bright Side. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How about you? I am fascinated with your information. Nice. I, I appreciate that. You're a smart guy, obviously, Dylan. Yes, sir. I I, like I, I called a while back, and I've lost a lot of weight just listening to you guys. Got off of gluten. Nice. I got a couple of questions for you. Uh, yes. Well, I got 100 of them. I'm sure everybody... Everybody who calls you got a hundred also. Okay, well you get one. I got I got a couple more calls to get to, but go ahead. What's going on, man? Yeah, I've got I uh, I love beans, corn, and potatoes. Okay. How could I handle those safely? Well, you know that's that's like playing with fire. How do you handle fire safely? Beans, corns, and yes. potatoes. You know what I would do if I were you? I'd enjoy the potatoes. And have very small amounts of beans and corn. Well, here's the thing. First of all, let's see. You want to see how you react to them. Spend all day eating. Here's this will be fun for you. Spend all day eating beans. See what happens. Spend the next day eating potatoes. See what happens. Spend the next day eating corn and see what happens. Okay? Because I could tell you from a generic sense that these are problem foods, but I don't know how you're going to react to them. Some some people can handle them. So you want to see how you react to them. If it turns out that you can't that you can't handle them, there's a couple strategies you, you might want to explore. And this is for anybody who enjoys these kinds of foods but, but can't handle them. You can start to strengthen your digestive system and your ability to process these foods and then eat less of them and see if that makes a difference. For example, beans, you can use, uh, there's a product called Beano. You may have heard of that. That's an enzyme that helps, helps the body process beans. You can use regular digestive enzymes. You can use probiotics. So eat your beans all day. Chances are, and I'm, I don't know this is for sure, but the chances are good you're going to have a problem with it. So spend the next day eating your beans with digestive enzymes, or maybe take some probiotics for a day or two, and then eat your beans with digestive enzymes and apple cider vinegar and uh, maybe some beano, and see how your body, if that makes a difference, and eat less of the beans. Maybe you can get away with eating less beans with digestive support. You follow me here? Likewise with, likewise with potatoes and sugar. Eat a bunch yes, of potatoes, sir. see what happens, and spend the next day uh, or spend a couple days loading up on probiotics and supporting your digestive system. Then eat the potatoes with enzymes and apple cider vinegar, et cetera, and see what happens. Potatoes do contain a, uh, a toxin that some people can't handle. Corn contains gluten, gluten-like substance. I don't know if it has directly gluten, but gluten-like substances that people can't handle. The sugar is also intense. And also... Uh, uh, the beans. And by the way, what do you think the beans, the potatoes, and the corn all have in common that you and everybody else, not you just alone, Dylan, everybody loves so much? What do you I think? I really it? don't know. Sir. I'll tell you. Sugar. Okay. Sugar. They yeah, break well, down I into am, sugar. I, I am cutting back. I'm trying to cut back on my sugar. No, I'm no, Dylan. Dylan, listen to me, brother. Listen, I want you yeah. to hear this. Potatoes and corn and beans are sugar. That's wow. why we prefer them over vegetables. We're evolutionarily designed to go for sugar, not vegetables. Why? Vegetables are bitter. Throughout history, bitter evolutionary history, bitter meant poison. So if you put broccoli on the table and you put mashed potatoes on the table, 99% of people are going for the mashed potatoes. You understand? Because from a genetic, from an evolutionary standpoint, we are driven to find sugar. Our ancestors were sugar-seeking machines because you need sugar, and there was no sugar. So we evolved. We're the descendants of ancestors that have a finely tuned sense of sugar. 
Vegetables, on the other hand, have traditionally or are bitter, and traditionally, bitter meant poison. So we are we are compelled to go for the sugar. Beans, corn, and potatoes are just disguised forms of sugar. Not as bad as you know candy or cake, obviously, but yeah. nonetheless, that's where. Where do you think high fructose corn syrup comes from? Where do you think corn right. syrup comes from? Right. It's, yes. it's all sugar. So if you if you can't get off the sugar, or you're finding hard, and this is for everybody, more protein. Willpower is very difficult to, to leverage for most of us. Not all of us, but for most of us, me included. But protein will, has a tendency to get you off of, to help you wean yourself off of sugar. And there's some very interesting reasons for that, by the way. Also, specifically, an amino acid called glutamine which is uh, right. found in high-protein foods, and also something called branched-chain amino acids. Both of those can have an appetite suppressant and a carb suppressant effect if you can't get off the carbs. That's another thing you could do. And then lastly, more fat and more spices, especially the combination of fat and spices. And if you heat your veggies, you warm your veggies, whether steaming or braising, you will release the sugar and it'll taste sweeter to you, and you'll get the benefit of the veggies as well. Still sugar, but you'll get the benefits of the veggies. Wow. Okay. okay. Wow. All right, Dylan. One, yeah. One question, real quick. I, yeah. uh, my son surprised me with the uh, uh, the on tangerine. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, nice, nice. Listen, yeah. I got one quick. Can you just yes or no? Uh, for, unfortunately, uh, years ago, before I knew you guys, I ended up with a pacemaker. And I feel so fantastic. I was wondering, has you in your lifetime, or maybe in Dr. Wallach's lifetime, has anybody ever had a pacemaker removed and not needed it? I, I haven't heard of a pacemaker removal. I don't imagine, I, I imagine it, it could be done. When the heart is out of rhythm, there are wonderful, wonderful nutritional strategies and dietary strategies for dealing with that. You don't necessarily need a pacemaker. I can't speak for your particular case, but you don't necessarily need a pacemaker. As far as having it removed, I don't know if you're doing good and you feel great, just take care of yourself, man. Just make sure you're doing your electrical nutrients, your EFAs. Make sure you're re uh, reducing the sugar, keeping the sugar down. You sound good, and if you're feeling good, I wouldn't worry about it, my friend. Magnesium also very right important. Now, but by God's grace, I'm 72 and I feel like Praise I'm God. sometimes 19. That's awesome. You sound you sound wonderful, Dylan. I'm glad you called. Right. Thank you. Have a Thank you. have a great day, man. All right. Well, Bye. I apologize if I left you on hold. 844-236-6010 is our number, you guys. Call first thing on the program. I know we gotta leave you on hold, but I hate leaving people at the end of the program. Anyway, check out my website. TruthTreatments.com and a Retinol 5% Gel. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.